Alright guys, we are to write a DNU active script to evaluate this expression. This is a summation question and to start with the script writing, let us get an understanding of how does this expression works. This expression means that n has some values ranging from 0 to 10 and we are to accumulate those values using the equation to n minus 6. Meaning, when n is equal to 0, what are we going to get when we put in the value of 0, which is n, into the equation to n minus 6? When n is equal to 1, we put in the value of n into the equation to n minus 6. We continue true to the term value of n. Afterwards, we accumulate all the res results when we put in the value of n to get the final answer. So let's see how I'm going to write this script in on GNU octaves. Okay. If you're on the command window, switch to the variable editor and last start with the script writing. All right, you are there. We need a certain sum that is going to store the accumulated results. So let's initialize a certain sum 1 to 0. We are initializing it to 0 because we are going to add the 0 to a certain number which is an addictive identity. Now, this expression is going to loop or iterate for certain number. So we need a loop that is going to hold it. So we go for the for loop. So we are going to say for n. Ranging from 0. to 10 what should happen sum 1 it is going to store the accumulated results is equal to sum 1 which we initialize it to zero plus the equation given two n minus six. And let us print someone out. Okay, so let me explain further. We initialize a certain sum 1 to 0. Said for n is equal to 0 to 10, what should happen? We should set sum 1 to 0. That's when n equals 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 6. Then it runs through the loop again. We have 1. When sum 1 is equal to 1, that's when n equals 1 plus 2 times n minus 6. Then it iterates until it reaches the 10th value of n.
then it prints out the result of some one. So let's save it and run and see what we are going to get. But Okay, you see, got someone to be 44. Okay, so let's verify this on our calculator. Set N, reduce from 0 to 10. Two N minus six she got forty four to be the final answer. So let's check out this double summation question. This also works the same as what we worked earlier on but over here we notice that the inner summation depends on the outer one and so we use the lower limit of the outer summation to determine the lower limits of the inner summation so let's see how we're going to write this in GNU octave One thing we need to keep in mind is that whenever we see a double summation question like this, it is a nested loop. That's loop within another loop. So it means this time around, we are going to initialize two sums. That is sum 1 and sum 2. So let's start with the script writing. So let's initialize the first sum. See, sum 1 is equal to 0. For k, which is the outer sum, ranges from one and sum 2 is equal to 0 so for J is equal to K minus 1. To 2, which is the outer summation. So what are we expecting? We are expecting that sum 1, which is going to print out the accumulated result, should be equal to sum 1 which is 0 plus the equation given that is k minus 1 let's terminate it And let our final results be sum 1 is equal to sum 1 plus sum 2. And we should print out sum 1. Okay, let me explain further. 
first we initialized sum one to zero and we said for k ranging from one to two sum one should be equal to sum one plus k minus one that is and for j ranging from k minus one to two it should take the same equation and finally sum one which which is going to accumulate the outer summation and the inner summation to sum one plus sum two and print out the final answer to sum one so let's save this and round see we are getting our final answer to be 2 CLC to clear and run this once again you see we are getting a sum 1 to be 2 Alright guys, if this video helps you, kindly like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos.